Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Art Atina. This is the Impromptu to Life channel. This is about art, garden, and health. Uh, if you were look, interested in looking for the videos about carnivore diets and what that has done for me and my body, those are in some of the other videos. Today I thought I would load an art video. I will show the whole painting at the end of what we create here today. And this is just kind of small little segments of me putting the pieces together. The first parts of the painting will always be just blending and doing what I call a color wash and just blending the watercolors in different sections of the painting, kind of keeping a composition in mind. That's why you'll see me later on here come in with some. At this part right here, I'm just bleeding it. I tip the paper back and forth and let the colors meld and, with one another. I will also be adding some reds and some blues as you notice and I've said many times before I paint mostly with the primaries and I allow the colors to bleed together or I drop them in together to create all of my other colors to create the secondary colors and as you can see here we've kind of let it bleed for a little while and how wonderful it starts to just look with all of the colors the different colors you can get and while it's still wet we're going to go ahead and start putting in a little bit of cooler colors and that would be our background in it. Again, if it, don't forget to follow and subscribe if you love art, garden, and health videos. Right now in the health, we are doing the carnivore diet to see and how that's helping with the health and the been amazed with the weight, how that has helped with the weight loss. And we haven't done a gardening one in a while. I did bring my plants in for the winter time. But I think, I don't know if we did the repotting bananas. I'm not sure. You'll have to look. We haven't yet done a garden video in a while. So we'll have to do another one of those pretty soon. Again, I just keep kind of dropping on as much blue as I want. Remember, as watercolors dry, they will dry a lot lighter. I know I put my watercolors on pretty light in the first place. I'd rather layer the colors quite a bit to get the values I want. Right here I'm dropping some salt in everywhere that I want, and you'll see that later on in the painting. Everywhere I want that spidery web-like effect. Branching effect is kind of what I call it, and it just, uh, the right kind of salt just gives it just an amazing look. This is the alcohol. I will drop alcohol, the same as rubbing alcohol, I drop alcohol in certain places because it does this beautiful orbing, is what I call it, or bubbles, like in one of my paintings I have these bubbles. I just love the effect, and even if you don't use it as bubbles or something, it just it gives a really cool effect. Don't do it all the time, but I do it quite a bit, and now we're painting on a second layer, and you can actually see in some sections here when I pull back, the effects of the alcohol ink and the salt. When we get a little closer here, I'll point them out. Those are the alcohol drop inks right there and how it dries. It's absolutely amazing. I love the look. In here you can kind of see how there was a little bit of salt in a couple of these places, how it branches and pushes the colors together in a certain way, like right on the other side right there. You can kind of see it. And it's just a, it's really cool because it can already bring out some of the wildflowers or background flowers for you. Makes it um, interesting when a lot of times you're working with your composition that you can actually do the salts or do the orbs and it actually can improve as far as I'm concerned. This one's going to be a busier painting than a lot of the work that I do. I have more rest space. Uh, places in the painting for your eyes to rest. And in this one, I just decided to do it very busy. I just kept having so much fun relaxing and bringing out more and more flowers. Did eventually end up with a bumblebee as the subject. Again, you'll see that in our final. I will show you the final painting here at the end. And see the dry effects? Do you see where the salt was laying on the paper? How it does these little branches? It does a very cool crystal-like effect once it's dry. And you can dry it as many times as you want and come in with a little bit more color. I did not show it here in this video, but there was a couple spots that I came in even a little bit later with watercolor pencils and decided to darken and sharpen them up just a little bit more. 
That's what I love about doing mixed media too, because it's free for all, free for all on the mediums and art supplies. You pull out everything you've got, and you're like, hmm, I did this would look amazing. I do have the gold, so I did a couple different things with the gold, which we will start when I get done with the the kind of the composition of the flowers and the way I want the flowers to look. Again, I'm going to come in and darken. Again, I'm pushing the background back and bringing the sun that's hitting the flowers more forward. I kind of already given away what a lot of this this um, painting is by the first quick clip. But if you're interested and you love painting like this, I will actually have some on some of the other social media channels, the very, very quick version of this. But I wanted to do one where you kind of might have wanted to see a little bit more detail, just a little bit more pieces of it being pulled together. And again, I'm just kind of adding quite a bit of red here, just really feeling more confident about where I want the eye to go. And remember some of my other or earlier videos talking about the golden ratio. In this one, yeah, the big red flower is definitely your focal point. I did end up going and adding, though, a bumblebee that I saw in the picture. So, and here's where I'm putting, so this is where I started with the gold gelling pins. Now the gelling pins don't dry super shiny. So I kind of decided what section of the painting I wanted the, the gold effects to go through. And then I came back with the acrylic gold gel, which I'll show in a minute. It's actually an acrylic gold. I do flash what brand I use of the acrylic gold paint. So anywhere that I've done already a line and I want it thicker, bolder, and much more shiny, I will come in with the gold acrylic paint and enhance it even more. This is the gold paint I like. I love it, love it. It's one of the shinier ones. And here is the finished images. As you can see, I love the thicker gold paint once I've decided where it goes. And here's the whole piece. Thank you so much for joining me.